Hey guys, it's Dean here with a new video and today we're gonna to be talking about high drops and how to make them easier with physics. All right, so if I am gonna squat down or stand up, you might argue that it's the same jump regardless of where I'm at. And I'm here to show that physics says you can make it easier than that and prove yourself wrong. All right, so if I'm jumping from right here, and let's just for the sake of math, make this a 10 foot jump then you would say that it would be a 10 foot drop for feet to feet. So we are more than just feet and we are people with lots of mass distributed amongst our entire self. In physics, we would draw a stick and put a center dot about here-ish for where our center mass is. And that's where all your mass, if you were a stick, would roughly be the middle of. All right, so center mass, center gravity, whatever you want to call it roughly here-ish for people. So if we're gonna do simple math, we're gonna pretend like this is four feet. And if I squat down, we're gonna pretend like this is two feet. So regardless of how I land, if I land really good or really bad, it's going to negate it because it's gonna be the same landing for each jump. So if I'm jumping from right here, and I say that this is four feet and this is two feet, the difference between those two for my center mass, center mass, so since I'm lower down and wider out, my center mass is two foot difference. Let's just say that's what the math is. Then when I jump, the moment that I jump, I'm flying through the air at the very instant and my feet have room to move. So I have room to extend my feet down the extra two feet from my center of gravity down. So that means it's an eight foot drop from my feet to the ground now instead of the 10 foot drop. Now, conversely, if I'm jumping normal standing height, my feet are going to be extended out when I land anyway, so it's gonna be a 10 foot drop for them. So one thing that might help illustrate this better for you guys, if you look to the past, we remember Michael Jordan was really famous for doing the really long dunks, and some people said it defied physics or broke gravity or something like that. The reason it looks like this is because when he's running along and he does a jump, his center of mass gets compacted and then he's flying through a parabola, which is how all, all physics follows. So his center of mass follows that, but his body extends out. And when he's extending out, his center of mass follows that, but it looks like his arms are going up. So it looks like he floats up. And then when he does the dunk, he's able to make it seem like he's going higher and further, but really he's just extending his body while his center of mass follows the parabola. So that explains why when you're doing height drops on this wall over here, you will be able to lower your center mass, jump down, and right when you immediately leave, you can extend your legs, make them closer to the ground, but your center of mass still falls, but then it's only eight feet instead of 10, if we're doing the simple math. All right, so to test the height drop, we have 10 feet going down to eight feet, just because of my center mass. So let's test it out. Do the drop, hand slap. And just like that, using physics, we have lowered height drops, made it safer and easier. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can look over here for more videos. I do other stuff. You can probably see me making stuff. You can click over here for subscribing or my Patreon, or you can look down in the description. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it. It looked like he defied physics and defied gravity. That's only because his center of mass 